Hello and welcome to this video on rounding to the nearest whole 10, 100 and 1000 as well. Now let's just say you're a bit of an idiot and you, you've got a party going on and you put it as a publicly listed event on Facebook and to your horror, um, 8,342 people end up turning up at your party. Now let's just say someone was asking you how many people came to your party, um, you wouldn't say 8,342, it's a bit of a mouthful isn't it? You would just say, oh, 8,000 people came to my party, or maybe even 8,300. So the idea of rounding is that you're kind of simplifying the number in some way to discard some of the digits. And that's exactly what we're going to do in these rules for rounding. We're going to decide up to what digit we want to keep, and then we're going to discard or replace with zero any digits after that particular digit we want to keep. So, for example, if we're rounding to the nearest 100, we would keep up to the 100th digit, that's the 100th digit, but we would discard any digits after. In fact, we'd actually replace them with zero in order to discard them. So let's do some simple examples. Let's just say we wanted to round 34 to the nearest 10. Now, the best way to illustrate this is with a number line. So let's just say I had 30 here, and I had 40 here, and in between I've got the other whole numbers, so where would 34 go on this number line? 34 would be here. We want to round 34 to the nearest 10. If we have a whole number of 10s, that would be like 10, 20, 30, 40, when we have a whole number of 10s, and we want the nearest one. Well, what is 34 nearest to? You can see it's closer to the 30 than it is to the 40. So in this case, the answer would be 30. What about if we wanted, say, 4.7 to the nearest whole. Well, the whole numbers are numbers like one, two, three, four, five, where there's nothing after the decimal point. So we use the same strategy again. The nearest whole either side, we've got four just below it, and we've got five just above it. And if we split this up again, 4.7 would be here, wouldn't it? 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4, 5, 6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, and five. And we can see this time, the nearest whole number is five. So this answer in this case would be five. Now, can we think of a rule that would allow us to round to the nearest whole or to the nearest 10 without having to draw out the number each time? And there is. And the way you do it is you look up to the digit you want to keep. So let's just say we had another example. We want to do 54 to the nearest 10. What we do, because we want up to the nearest 10, we keep everything up to the tens digit, so we keep up to the five, and everything after gets discarded. And by discard, I mean just replace with zero. So we're not going to have any units digit, we're just going to place it with zero units. We have no units anymore because we've discarded them. So in this case, that would get you to 50. And the way we decided that five stays as a five when we have it to the nearest 10 is we look at the next digit. If the next digit is less than five, and four is less than five, then the five stays as it is. But if this unit's digit, the next digit, is greater or equal to five, then that five is gonna turn into a six. For example, if I said 58 to the nearest 10, we keep everything up to the tens digit, and then we check the next digit after it, the one we want to keep. That number of eight is at least five, and therefore that five goes up to six. We're getting rid of all the units, we have to replace it with zero units. We can't just keep the six and not put any digit there at all, because otherwise, that's no longer the tens digit, it would be the units digit if you just had the six on its own. So you have to put the zero there to say that you've got zero units. You've thrown away all the units. What about 387 to the nearest 10? Then we keep everything up to, and including the tens digit. So we want to keep up to the tens digit, which is that one, and then we check the next digit. Is that greater than or equal to five? Yes, it is. So that eight goes up to a nine. So we've still got that hundreds digit, we're keeping that. That eight went up to a nine, and that seven gets wiped out because we're only keeping up to the tens digit, so every digit after is just wiped out. What about if we wanted 387 to the nearest 100? And let's put an extra digit on the front. So we've got 1,387. Now, if we want it to the nearest 100, we keep everything up to the 100th digit. That's the 100th digit. And then we check the next digit. Is that greater than or equal to 5? 
Yes, it is. So that, that three has gone up to four and everything else has been thrown away. So it's replaced with zero. So we have zero tens and zero units. And what about this number of people you're party to the nearest a thousand? Well, we only keep up to the thousands digit. That's the thousands digit. Then we check the next digit. Is it greater than or equal to five? No, it's not. So the eight stays as it is and all the other digits are just thrown away. So we throw away the hundreds, we have zero hundreds now. We throw away the tens, we've got zero tens. And we throw away the units, we've got zero units. But you do need to put those zeros there. Right, let's do these examples. We want to round each of these numbers to the nearest whole, where relevant, if it's not already whole, um, to the nearest 10, the nearest 100, and the nearest 1,000. So the first one we've got is 34.2. Now, if we want it to the nearest whole, then we only keep up to the units digit. So we keep up to here, we do keep the three as well, everything up to the four. Then we look at the next digit after the decimal point. Is that greater than or equal to five? No, it's not, so the four stays as it is. So we have 34. We've kept everything up to here, and the four stays as it is. Now we don't need to put 0 0.0 because 34.0 is the same as 34. So if you want it to the nearest whole, you don't have any decimal point. What about this to the nearest 10? Well, we keep everything up to only the tens digit. Now we check the next digit, the four. Is it greater or equal to five? No, it isn't, so the three stays as it is, and that unit digit just gets replaced with a zero. What about to the nearest 100? Well, this is less than 100, so we're not going to bother with those, or 1,000. What about the second one? We've got 27.63. We want it to the nearest whole, so we only keep up to the whole digit, the units digit, effectively. So 2, 7. We check the digit just after that, the 6. Is that greater or equal to 5? Yes, it is. So the 7 goes up to 8, so we have 28. What about to the nearest 10? We only keep up to the tens digit, that's a two. So we check the next digit after it. Is that greater or equal to five? Yes, it is. So that two goes up to three and everything else gets replaced with zero. So we discard the units. So we have zero units. And again, it, we don't need it to the nearest hundred or thousand because it's less than a hundred. What about three? We've got four, three, three. To the nearest whole, well, it's already to the nearest whole. So it's just four, three, three again. What about to the nearest 10? We check up to the tens digit, it's here. Now we check the next digit, is that great equal to five? No, it isn't, so the three stays as it is, and we discard everything after, so that three gets replaced with zero. So it's four, 30 to the nearest 10. Now what about to the nearest 100? We only keep up to the hundreds digit, we check the next digit, is it great equal to five? No, it isn't, so the four stays as it is. These other digits get replaced with zero, so the nearest 100 is 400. And we don't want the thousand because it's not in the thousands. Right, fourth one, 4863.94. To the nearest whole, where we look up to the holds digit, the units digit, and then we check the digit after. Is that great equal to five? Yes, it is. So that three goes up to four. So it's seven, eight, six, four. What about to the nearest 10? We look up to the tens digit. So we've got seven, eight, six. We check the next digit. Is it greater or equal to five? No, it isn't, so the six stays as it is. So it's seven, eight, six, and then we replace the units digit with zero because we're discarding it. What about to the nearest hundred? Look up the hundreds digit. We've got eight, so we're keeping up to the eight. We check the next digit. Is it greater or equal to five? Yes, it is, so that eight goes up to nine. So it's seven, nine, and everything after the hundreds digit gets replaced with zero. And then to the nearest a thousand, we look at the thousands digit, it's seven, and only keep up to that. So we'll check the next digit. Is that great equal to five? Yes, eight is great equal to five. So that seven goes up to eight and everything after gets replaced with zero. One final example, which you may want to try yourself and pause the video. One, six, three, four, nine. Now it already is to the nearest whole, so it's one, six, three, four, nine. What about this 10? We check up to the tens digit, there's the tens digit. We check the digit after, is that greater or equal to five? Yes, it is, so that four goes up to five. So it's one, six, three, five, and the units digit gets thrown away, we have zero. What about to the nearest hundred, hundreds digit? So we've got one, six, three, we check the next digit, is it greater or equal to five? No, so the three stays as it is, it's one, six, three, and that gets replaced with zero. And what about to the nearest a thousand? Well, that's the thousands digit. So we keep up to the one and the six. We check the next digit. Is it great equal to five? No, it isn't. So the six stays as it is. It's one, six, and then zero, zero, zero. So there we go.